Hey guys, Game Person here, and I am doing a tutorial on how to get the best quality with your Easy Cap. So, this could work with Dazzle or or any other capture device or anything. So yeah, first thing you're gonna want to do is go to Google and type in Virtual Dub Download because that's what you want to download. It it's good to get good quality out of it, and you're gonna want to go to virtual double download and download v.110 whatever the latest version that's probably here then click that and it should download and it will say your download will start in five seconds I already have it so I don't need to download it so what you're gonna want to do is open up your virtual dub it should be somewhere with it you're gonna want to open up virtual dub documents and then go to virtual dub virtual.exe then you're going to want to go open video file and that you recorded your, your recorded video file before you do that before you open on virtual dub you're going to want to download another thing called xvid codec download so you can download xvid codec so that your file sizes file sizes aren't so huge and you get good quality with the file size uh, with the file sizes and there won't be huge file sizes so you click here to download don't click any other place don't because there will be advertisements on this page I already have it so I don't need to download it I already have it and you're gonna want to install it once you've installed it you'll, now you can open up virtual dub and I'll tell you what that was for in a bit so you're gonna want to open your video that you recorded, I don't know which one is. Um, I'll just record. Uh, I'll just open up this one. T loss one, probably the last boss it is the last boss. And yeah. So if your video looks like this, like interlaced, um, you're gonna want to first add video filters and add. You're gonna want to add deinterlace, not emboss because that was the wrong thing. That was a misclick. You want to add deinterlace. So then your video would be would look deinterlaced. As you can see on the right hand side, it's deinterlaced. On the left hand side, it's interlaced. So you want it you want it to look like the, on the right hand side. If yours is already like that, and you don't you don't need to do this, then you can just delete it. You don't need to do this. Uh, if yours is already like that, like on here, like over here, there's it's deinterlaced. Yeah. If then you don't need to do that. But if yours has lines on it, then you have to do that. So first thing you're gonna want to do is add resize. So you go to filters, add, and then you go to. So first you go to video filters, add. Then you go to down to um, resize right over here. Resize, and you click disabled so that the aspect ratio is disabled and the absolute pixels so that it's so that you can change the pixels. So you want to do one to eighty by seven twenty if you if you have a if you edit the video after in a different program like Sony Vegas or whatever then you should do, use 128 by 720 and then render it as, out as 1080 but if you don't then just do 1920 by 1080 and then click OK and as you can see the video on the right it's gone huge because I put it in 1080p so you're gonna wanna zoom out a bit so I think 66% is alright and once you've done that you're going to want to um, crop it because as you can see there's some black borders on the um, video so you go to video and filters uh, then you go to um, then you, you you see this input it says what 720 by 576 you're going to click cropping and you're going to crop out those black borders that you see over there yeah uh, you don't you can use that or you could go press up like that and you want to try get this as accurate as possible so that you get the best quality and yeah once you've done that yeah it will get rid of the black borders and it'll look good and yeah so look there's no black borders here I'll just crop I'll just cut out the bits where there's where there's interlace so like now there's all the interlace all this is the interlace and it looks nice and good quality so now next thing you're going to want to do is go to video filters again you're going to want to add sharpen filter so uh, 
let's chop it go down to sharpen click sharpen click ok click show preview so you can see what you're sharpening so I go to the beat where, where it's easy to see what the sharpening's like so you can put it to full full looks alright for me it looks alright so I'm just gonna put that to full because it looks nice and then when you click OK it will be sharpened on this video and now next thing you wanna do is go back to filters and add again and you're gonna wanna add HSV adjust this makes the color colors look so much brighter and better so you wanna increase the saturation a bit put it about 130 140 so you don't want to do it too much because it would look really ugly and like sunny and I don't know what it, how to explain it so 160 is probably the maximum that you could do that looks okay so I'll put like 150 because I prefer lo a little bit lower than 160 and then as you can see look these are what the colors in the background you can see the colors look normal when you click okay it looks vibrant and very colorful and once you've done that you're gonna go what video filters one last time then you're gonna go to add and the last thing you wanna add is warp sharp this makes it uh, sharper because it makes it you know, makes it sharper I don't know how to explain and what you're gonna wanna do is put it to about 160 or something like that as you can see look if you see on the video it goes sharper when I put it to 400 and when I put it down it doesn't look as sharp so what you're gonna want to do is put it to as much as possible without it having any artifacts. So as you can see on the on the uh, writing right there, it looks a bit weird over there, but it looks okay. So I think I could put it at 400, but you won't. You don't want to put too much blur passes. As you can see, those men over there and the circles are shrinking and like joining together. So you don't want to put it too much blur passes, and it looks like someone just painted on something. So you don't want to do that. You're gonna want to put that to the lowest, and put this about 160 or 200 is probably the maximum on 1080p, and put it on. Yep. And as you can see, this is what the video looks like before and after. It's gone sharper and it looks very clear and nice. So yeah. So this is what it looks like. It looks really good, like a HD PVR, and yeah, you, you know it looks good, and you you you'll be very happy with this quality but this is with S video so if you don't have S video cable it wouldn't look as good but if you like if you're using the yellow cable then it would look a little bit worse but it it would still look pretty good so just do the same things that I did I'll just show you the filters that I added this is what I did I added resize sharpen HSV adjust and warp shot if your video is a uh, de interlaced I mean interlaced like this you're gonna want to before you do all of that you're gonna want to add um, deinterlace as I said before you're gonna cl click deinterlace and then move that up to the top so that is deinterlaced right here is deinterlaced so that's the first thing it does like this is in order this is in order of the processes so first thing it does is deinterlace then it does resize then it does sharpen and does this and that that's how the order is and yeah you can um, try to move the um, I don't need the interlace on because my video looks alright over here wait over here I got it without needing to deinterlace so over here what you're gonna want to do you could try and move up the different places see if it looks any different I don't think it looks any different and I think I prefer it normal so like yeah, I don't think it changes anything that much so yeah and that's it for the settings but after you've done that you're gonna wanna go to video compression and then once it comes up then you're gonna wanna go down to xvid this is what you downloaded earlier so you wanna go down to xvid go click that click configure and you wanna put it on hd xvid hd 1080 and then you want the target whatever I don't know what that, that is I don't know what that's for I don't, just ignore that and you wanna put this this is for the smallest file size and this is for the maximum quality so I put mine's about six because I want a quite small file size and maximum quality at the same time so it's like a bar so that you could do that and then once you've done all of those steps you can click save as AVI 
and this is the easy cap test HD 1080 so after you've done that it will render it out so what I'm doing now is, ren is, is rendering out and when you're rendering you want to uncheck these two you don't want to like check them because it goes slower and you want to put this from normal to the highest so that it renders faster and you can like render it really good I'll probably put a sample of what my video looks like at the end or at the beginning so that you can see so yeah as you can see these are this this is what is showing you this what frame it's on it's what audio sample is on it's a video data that's in the file right now the audio data that's in the file and a projected file size is how big that virtual dog thinks it's going to be once it's finished and yeah and this is the video rendering rate it's pretty slow because I put loads of filters on it to make it have the best quality but uh, you don't need to put as much filters if you don't think you need them then you don't need to but I think this is the best settings that I've got with my easy cap and yeah this is some stuff some stuff some more stuff don't know what that does so basically I want to see how this looks so look I'm on this bit you can see it if you sh click show output video you'll see it in the background and uh, yeah I just don't do that so that it renders faster but this is what it looks like it's going at like 1 FPS to render but it doesn't matter because it is gonna I normally render overnight so it's fine for me but um, if you wanna you're gonna need a really fast PC if you wanna render really fast so yeah if you wanna render a proper or fast you need some sick graphics card and stuff but I don't have that so yeah this is pretty much what the video looks like and I'm just gonna abort it here I just stop the operation I don't need to do all of it and this doesn't save when you click the X it doesn't ask you do you want to save so don't click X if you really want to render it just minimize it but I don't want to render it so I just click X and that's it and hopefully it's over here somewhere yeah as, as you can see I don't really use um, see it doesn't work properly in Windows Media Player so you want to want you want to use the VLC because media player is really rubbish if you have media player you're kinda like missing out on stuff on performance and stuff but uh, VLC is way better and I don't use uh, easy cap anymore so yeah it's what it looks like it actually looks really good I think it looks better than my <laughs> first test actually actually this is really good uh, I really think this looks like this is this is the, this is easy cap I, I'm not even joking though. This is so cool and then if you're wondering like why your quality doesn't look like this is because yours is probably not in not in uh with s video mine is with s video so look this is one of my age let me show you one of my hd pvr videos this is one of my hd pvr videos it looks it looks okay yeah it looks all right but this one looks amazing as well Oh, I, can't, I can't open it there. it looks amazing and it looks pretty much similar to the HD PVR2 that I have which is really good but uh, I I just find complications with the easy cap it's so much harder to record with the easy cap so yeah um, thanks for watching the video if this helped you please leave a like and share this with your friends that have easy cap uh, that has an easy cap so that they can like find out the best quality and hopefully um, if you can like this video and if you're into game gaming and gameplay then you should subscribe to my channel if you want I don't really mind if you don't want to so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video bye